Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are at, whenever, wherever. In the meditation course I'm teaching right now, we are on feel rest. So I'm going to do a little feel rest daily 10, 10 minute practice for that group and for you. Feel rest. We're going to find the middle point in this practice. We're gonna, in this path, we often talk about finding the middle way or the middle ground, right? Some people might think that's the neutral point or have a lot of ideas about it, but it's, it's like, can I walk in the center? It's like equanimity, not being pushed or pulled either way. And just when I get pushed or pulled either way, and I come back to find my center. That's the middle way. So we're going to find center over and over. And yet the center is a still point. That's, that's that deep, absolute rest I talked to you guys about, right? So throughout this 10 minute practice, we're going to explore finding the middle way, the still point, the center point. through feel rest, <laughs> deep equanimity. So take a little bit of time here to find your posture and if you want to stretch up, settle in, get the wiggles out before you sit still for a bit. Ah, yeah. Just breathe, take a few breaths. Ah, oh, you could stretch the eyebrows up and down a few times. And we'll start with the eyes closed when you're ready. And you're going to find the middle way in your posture. Find your center. Raise up. So press the sit bones against whatever we're sitting on. So we press down into the earth, we raise up through the spine. And then as you exhale, relax the shoulders, let gravity win, relax the muscles in the body. Middle ground in your meditative posture is the balancing point, the center point of less efforting to hold yourself up and more erect alertness through balance stacking the spine and you can do this by like kind of moving your head forward and back finding a neutral spot where your head feels like oh it could rest right here and it's supported by the shoulders And then when you're ready, that spine is erect, you can relax the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingertips. Just let any readiness to go, to move, to do something fall away. Like you can tell your arms, there's nothing to do. I don't have any, I don't have to grab anything. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to no efforting, you get to take a rest. You can even wiggle the fingertips a little bit if that feels good and then just let them come to settle in their natural resting place. So much our body is like constantly at the ready this alertness to spring into action and it causes us to hold a little bit of tension always so we know right we can spring into action if we need to when we're done with this practice always available to us so why not rest in between in the center point 
of moving and non-moving. Mm-hmm. And let's do that same thing for the face, soften the muscles of the face, corners of the eyes, cheekbones, jawline, and just let that cascading relaxation, any readiness to move or speak, and soften and relax the tongue and the jawline and the throat. Let it fall away. And let that cascade down into the torso, soften the shoulders, chest, solar plexus, belly. Let the belly become full and round. The center point for the belly, this relaxing point, signals the belly to go into rest and digest as you relax. Relax any mental thoughts or judgments about the belly. And as you feel the belly gently rise and fall with the breath, that naturally happens. It expands like a balloon on the inhale, contracts towards the spine on the exhale. You are gently massaging the organs. Instead of that, always holding in, what's next? What's going to happen next, right? We're finding the center point. Do I need to be vigilant right now? And I let the belly and the digestive system do what it does for a few minutes. <laughs> you can let out a nice loud ah or ha. Just let that ah or ha cascade through the body. Notice the effects of that. Notice what happens to that pelvic floor. Letting go of any resistance. When we let go of the resistance in the belly, kind of spreads down through the hips and the pelvic floor. If you can physically let go of any tension or readiness to move there. You can start to feel that cascading down the legs. Nowhere to go, legs. Nothing to do. And lastly, if there's any place in your body that you want to revisit, take a second round through to relax, physically let go of any readiness to move or tension or tightness or gripping or contraction. This is your time to do that. There may be a habitual place in your body Maybe the jawline or the throat or the belly or the whatever. Or you can zoom out as a whole to the body's edges. And you just feel the boundaries of the body as a whole and relax the body as a whole. I'm gonna, I know this sounds kind of silly, but relax the tongue.
Our tongues are wagging all day long. We're talking all day long, even when we're not talking. <laughs> we're right on the tip to let all of our thoughts out, right? To rethink the thought. You can almost feel it resonating on the tongue to come out. But you're like, oh, don't say that. Or, <laughs> or you do say that, and you're like, ooh, right? <laughs> that mental chatter. Once it's released from the thought, there's a process in these traditions that an action isn't an action. Once you speak it, do it, take it, take the action. It's, it begins with the thought, travels to the tongue, even if not released from the tongue. So just let the wagging of the tongue settle. Relax the throat and the jawline. Next, we'll move to the mind. It's a little here in mental chatter computer box. Mm -hmm. And you can literally just relax the prefrontal cortex. Doesn't matter where that is. Relax the head frontal lobe, the back, the space in between the ears. You don't have to know what or where, just tell yourself. Like, mind, can you go into neutral? Neutral is the center point, like equanimity. Thoughts come, thoughts go, that's okay, that's okay. You're like in neutral. Right now, you don't have to take any, you don't have to put the car in drive or reverse, right? You just let those thoughts come and go and have deep equanimity. Oh, the mind is chattering. One thing I learned from Rick Hansen inside Buddha's Brain book was put a little pinpoint there placeholder in your mind and just say, mind, I'll come back to all those chattery thoughts in another five minutes. For now, maybe you can reveal to me your center point, your resting spot, or a different way of being with your mind, the chatter. And we're going to move next to here out. Your room may be quiet. You may notice non-activity in the here out range. What you're hearing in the room around you or the space around you. Notice that. Stillness, center point, quiet. Enjoy it. But if there's a lot of chatter and noise, See if you can drop a story about the noise, whether it's good or bad or loud or quiet. Drop all the constructs of what you have a billion times before perceived at that particular noise to be. And just noting, oh, there's a vibration of sound happening around me. You notice, oh, it gets louder, quieter. There may be a point where it's gone, where it's completely quiet.
Just let yourself be gently massaged by the vibration of any sounds around you. And if there are no sounds, enjoy the rest. Both of those are center points, even in the loudest, crowdest room. The clutter of the noise, you can drop down, let the vibration of the sound wash through you. Hear it almost like a, your favorite musical tune. If we drop story of sound, and be with it in a different way. And for the last minute or two, we're going to slowly open our eyes. You can open your eyes halfway or just to a soft gaze. We're not darting out or seeking with our eyes. Let the world come to you through your eyes without a story. Thoughts may come in. Just drop those in the background or have equanimity. Just notice what you notice with the soft gaze. Without the wanting and the seeking. And now drop label. For instance, if you're in your room or a space at home and you're like, oh, thought comes in, oh, it's cluttered or dirty, or I need to wash that a bit or whatever it is, you know. Just notice the towels on the floor. Are they in, what colors are they? Are there vibrancy and color and they're swirling and they're, you know, noticing what you never noticed before because you were stuck in the story of oh, doing laundry. Oh, I've got to do that. <laughs> or that's just a boring old rock. story about what you're seeing and get curious. And enjoy this deep rest in all of your sensory portals. center in the here in, in the feeling, excuse me, the emotional space in the body, you may notice, oh, can I drop below, can I drop to the center of like neutral, or even beyond that to enjoy this rest in the emotional range. And then just notice if an urge to move, a thought this is boring or you have better things to do comes up, 
whatever. Notice that in the emotional range, what it stirs up. And then just let that settle. Be with it in the background, equanimity, drop it, whatever it is that you do there. And come back to any flavors of, any taste of that you can taste. A sense of restful emotions or rest or letting go or the enjoyment of slowing down. Or just the enjoyment of, oh, for two minutes, I don't have to do anything. The last two minutes of this. For the last minute or so, we'll notice our breath, your bare breath, your neutral breath, into the center of breath. As we move throughout our day, we hit that fight or flight, our breath patterns change. We often don't come back to neutral. What is your bare breath? You're not judging, you're not pushing, you're not pulling. It's fast, it's fast, if it's slow, it's slow deep or shallow, it doesn't matter. You may have noticed now, oh, there's like a natural rhythm to my breath. I've settled into a natural rhythm. And then just enjoy that natural rhythm in any way, shape, or form. As we're coming out of this, trust the words that I'm saying to you are coming through. And just stay with your meditation. Throughout the day, you can taste a flavor of this anytime you want. Stop on a dime, wherever you're at, whenever you remember, wherever, whenever. You can stop, close your eyes. Take a nice big long ah or ha, reset your breath and just rest in your natural breath for 30 seconds. And as you do that, you soft gaze, you find the center point in the body, held up less through efforting, more through alignment. And you just take that global exhale, relax. Let go of any readiness to move for just 30 seconds. Do you know how often we have 30 seconds in our life waiting in line at the bank before we go into the grocery store, waiting on hold on the line on the phone call? Just take a break before you go into that boardroom, meeting room, at a stoplight with your eyes open, of course. <laughs> How many times do we get an opportunity throughout the day to stop on a dime, drop deeply in to our center point? We'll feel rest. And when you're ready to, you can stay here as long as you like. And then when you're ready to move about the cabin, do it slowly. Notice how easily it is and how easily you can move back into your space, maybe a different perspective. There's like this, if somebody came at you right now with something to do, you'd probably be like, it's okay, calm down. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to all of it. All of the things, right? So much when we're in that triggered state, we're so hyper vigilant. So we don't get the opportunity to come to meet the things that arise in the 
this place. And we think everything's so important. <laughs> Gotta be done right now, right? Maybe. Maybe. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are at. Kiddos, take care out there. Explore finding your center, finding that middle ground. It's holding onto the ox backwards, like holding to the center. And you sway one side, and you're like, oh, look out, really, ooh, that way. Let yourself settle back to center. And you go, ooh, that way. This is, this will pass, this will pass, this will pass. <laughs> Come back to center. Hmm.